Hello, my Pearlholic friends. I am Loida, the creator of loveacrylicpainting.com and enchantingfineart.com, where you can find free guides, awesome courses, and dazzling embellishments so you can create art that enchants and mesmerizes. Today, my plan is to do a magical beach pour with a magic spell. Let me see what I have in my book of spells. Ooh, Oceana's Creatio. Okay, let's give it a try. Oceana's Creatio. Hmm, nothing happened. Why isn't the spell working? Loida, there's no shortcuts for creating a magical beach pour with, you know, just a magic spell. You just can't. You have to do this by hand. Very well, Loida Potter. I guess we're going to have to do this by hand. I just hope that Grindelwald doesn't mess up my project. I'm starting with a homemade molding paste. I have a video on my YouTube channel where I show you how to do this recipe. I'm going to apply this paste to my wooden board. Grindelwald, what did you do to my paste? Oh my goodness, this is the first curse of the day. Anyways, this was kind of my fault. I added some paint to the paste and then realized it wasn't such a great idea. So I'll fix that later. But right now you're seeing that I'm adding texture by using a balloon to make some raised edges. While that texture is drying, I'm going to start adding some sand with my Triart liquid glass and some of my new tan glam glitter sand that I have on my EnchantingFineArt.com website. I have different colors of these glam sands. All I did was add a very thin layer of the Triart liquid glass and then sprinkle my sand right on top. Now that my texture is dry, I'm going to add some white paint on top of the pink uh, just to cover most of those areas. This is kind of what I'm going for. Um, it's like a coral reef, um, so I'm not going to cover everything with white. I am going to leave some areas pink, and then I am going to add a little bit of this Ambrosia Prism Pour paint onto some areas of my texture. This ambrosia color is a beautiful color from Color Art, and I'm also using uh, this Baltic Amber color. All of the materials I'm using are listed in the description box below and also in the first comment of this video. While this paint is still wet, I'm going to add some moon rocks. Uh, I'm using the Driftwood and Poseidon Grotto colors. All of these materials can be found on the colorart.com website. Make sure you use coupon code LOVE621 to get 20% off any of their products. I am now going to start adding some glitter. If you saw this previous video where I showed how to do these amazing glittery uh, ocean pour paintings, uh, you saw that I did or I used two different colors of glitters and I wasn't really sure what color to use for this painting, so I decided I was going to use both. So I'm going to use the Heaven Glam Glitter and the Fiji Glam Glitter. And I'm mixing my glitters with some Tri Art Liquid Glass. It's time to add a top coat of resin and I'm using this new brand. It's called Epodex. You can find it at epodex.us and you can use coupon code LOIDA10 to get 10% off. Keep in mind that you have to use two parts resin to one part hardener. Now I'm also going to be using a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to mix my Bahama Mama tint 
from Resin Art. This is also a color art product. Remember, you can use coupon code LOVE621 to get 20% off of these resin tints. On that sand area, I just added some clear resin. I'm mixing some clear resin with some white alumilite dye to make my ocean waves. Oh no, here comes Grindelwald again with his curses and my resin is going off of the edge of my of my board so I had to add a little bit more glitter sand on that resin just to create some sort of a border I really like that edge you know some of that sand is wet some of it is dry I really like the golden sparkle in that sand area the seashells and the sand peeking through the water is just amazing and I really like that blue puddle where the blue from the resin mixed in with the white from the weight. So I prepared more uh, resin. I am going to tint it with, all, again, the Bahama Mama tint, but I'm not going to tint it as much because I did notice that the, the more tint that I add, the more coverage there is, and therefore the less glitter that I can see coming through. So I do like, you know, that these look pretty, you know, it's not as glittery, but I do want areas to show off, you know, the glitter that's underneath. So I wanted this to be pretty clear. So I think that's good enough. Over here, I don't want to add uh, blue. I don't want to cover those areas. So actually, over here, I'm going to add clear because I really like that area there. Here's my secret word, the word that will help you complete the secret phrase that you will need to enter the contest to win a $400 shopping spree at colorart.com. And don't forget to comment and subscribe to this channel because I will be picking another winner from those that comment and subscribe to get a six-piece prison pour set from Color Art. A lot of my glitter was covered with the resin layer, so I decided to add just a few touches of glitter right on top of that uh, dried uh, resin layer. So I'm just adding a few touches of glitter here and there. I am now adding another layer of clear resin and in some areas I'm going to add a little bit of the colored resin. Now let me show you the amazing sparkle that this piece has. Look at that twinkly. Just look at that twinkly. And it's not just the sand. Look at the sand. 
it just has uh, amazing you know beautiful colors rainbow colors in the sand and then also throughout this whole ocean piece there's some areas that have more glitter some other areas are a little bit more toned down but everything just works out so well and just wait till I get you some close-ups of this beach pour it is just amazing you're gonna see the amazing depth all the details I really really do not want to sell this piece I want to keep it for myself but it will be up for sale so if one of you guys wants to purchase this reach out to me at loida at loveacrylicpainting.com and if for some reason someone you know gets this before you do I can always make another one and just so you know this piece is not completely done yet I am still adding some tiny tiny waves at the top of this piece because I feel like it needs um, some tiny waves up there because uh, it looks a little bare to me um, so just you know hang around I'm gonna show you those last details defeated Grindelwald? And remember, comment and subscribe for a chance to win a six-piece color art prison pour set. And don't forget to watch the rest of the collaboration videos so you can get all of the secret words, make up the secret phrase, and send that on the colorart.com website that is in the description box below for a chance to win a 400 shopping spree. The next video in this channel lineup is from Chris Jessick, so I'll see you over there. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in my next video.